fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order. Outlaws and hostile Indians, road agents and renegades learned to fear his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. It was he more than any other man who blazed the trail for progress and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the railroad. There's going to be trouble. I own Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced downhill at breakneck speed. Ahead of them, careening along the polished rails, a train of half a dozen cars hurtled down the grade. If there's anyone on board, they'll be killed when that train hits the curve. That's right. Get him up strong. Come on, Silver. Look, there are two men clinging to one of the cars. They're shouting at us. Can't hear them above the hoofs. Men go off track and turn. They can't possibly make the turn at that speed. Those men will certainly be killed. <laughs> That rider, he's the Lone Ranger. How'd you know? The mask, the white horse, I know it is. He can't save us, nothing will save us. How near is the turn? Right close, we're coming to it. I'm jumping. Two men jumped from the train and lay where they fell at the edge of the tracks. The cars left the rails at the turn and rolled over and over until they crashed into the great boulders that lined the slope. A moment later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up just above the wreck. The cars are nothing but splinters. Look them over, Tonto. See if there's anyone in the wreckage. Ah, uh, me look. I'll have a look at the man who jumped. Come on, boy. <clears throat> Poor fellow. Not a chance for him. Uh, Here, drink. No, no good. Can you tell me what happened? Lone Ranger. How did the train get started down the hill? Did the brakes fail? Get away. Save life. Still, <laughs> still chance for you. Still a chance for me. What did he mean? Uh, Tonto. Tonto, find message. Message? What kind of a message? You come see. Come quick. Too late help, fella. You saw the other man? Him gone. So is this poor fellow. Where's the message you spoke of? It's scratched on a piece of wood beside a car. Come, see. Very well. Follow along, Silver. Plenty short time. Trouble come fast. What kind of trouble? The railroad man gave me a warning just before he died. He said to get away from here while there was still a chance. That's right. There. You look what's scratched on beside a car. Hard to read. Scratched there while the train was running wild. This is... Uh Uh-huh. This is no accident. Mm, That's what message say. But, Tonto, if that message refers to the running away of the train, no accident... 
Well, who's to blame? You see message. Now we get away from here plenty fast. Why? Put ear to ground, you hear. So we've got to look around and see what we can learn. Another time, not now. You listen at ground. Hey, well. I hear hoofbeats, lots of them. Oh, uh, that's right. Plenty of horse come this way fast. That means? Injun. Yes, this is Indian country. You look. Coming over the hill. Otto, if someone planned this wreck and the death of the railroad men, we've got to find out who it was. That's right. We'll never find out if we leave here. The Indians will destroy what evidence there is. We stay here, Injun kill. Them fellow Apache, plenty bad. Very well, then I have a scheme. Come on, this way and be quick. Hurry, help me to the jacket of this man. I'll pull his cap down low on my head and lay with my face against the ground. Injun find you. I don't think the Indians will pay much attention to a man they think is dead. I'll be able to hear and see what they do with the wreckage. Hurry. That's it. I'll drag that poor fellow among the bushes and take both horses and get away. I want to stay with you. No, get away from here, so the Indians will think we've both left. If they find tracks of horses here, they want to know what became of the horses. Now go. Uh, you take big risk. Tonto, if you don't leave at once, it may be too late. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. They've seen Tonto, but they haven't hit him. We have a chance now. If he gets through, our plan will work. The Indians closed in. The Lone Ranger lay on the ground motionless. The savages hardly glanced in his direction as they leaped from their ponies and began to loot the wrecked car. At last, loaded down with plunder, they mounted once more and their wild cries faded into the distance. Several days later that Mary Austin visited the office of Jeb Turner, the district superintendent of the railroad. As far as cash, Mary, I'm going to see that you don't want for nothing. The railroad company is mighty fine about taking care of the wives and children of the men that are killed on the job. Do you think I care about money, Mr. Turner? I want my pa back. If given my right arm would bring him back, Mary, you'd get him. But it won't. Then I want to know why that train should have run wild like it did. That's what I'd like to know. That's what I aim to find out. I'm expecting Jake here any minute now. I want to ask him some questions. Uh, I'll appreciate hearing what he says after he's gone. You sit right where you are. You can hear it while he's here. Thanks. Now you stay right there. I see him outside now. Howdy, Mr. Turner. Oh, hello, Jake. Sit down. This here is Miss Mary Austin. Her paw was killed on the train. Oh, howdy, miss. I'm downright sorry to hear about your father. How do you do? Couldn't learn much by inspecting what the Redskins left of the wreck, Jake. They set fire to it after they'd finished looting it. Yeah, so I heard. It sure beats me why that train started coasting downhill. You were the engineer, weren't you? I was. That train was most new. Brakes must have been good on her. I didn't have no trouble with her, Mr. Turner. I ran the train to the station, set the brakes, then put blocks under the wheels to make sure it couldn't get started backing down the hill. It seems to me you were in the station talking to Sam Blake when they started backing down. I was. Me and Sam were standing there with several other men. I looked out and saw the train starting to roll. Before we could do anything to overtake it, it was going too fast. That's a powerful long grade, Mr. Turner. I reckon the train could have gone 15 miles if it hadn't turned over at the curve 10 miles from here. It could have. But any railroad man would have known that it turned over. Mighty funny that Paul was on board and didn't jump when he could have done so safely. That's hard for me to figure out too, miss. I know that Paul had a message that told him to get on board. He had a message, huh? Yes. And he knew that someone was scheming with Indians. What's that, Mary? Scheming with Indians? Well, I, I didn't say anything about that before, Mr. Turner, but it's the truth. Well, tell me some more. No, I, I don't know much about it. Well, what about that engine business? Well, you know, Mr. Turner, there's been things stolen from the trains from time to time. Yeah. Well, a couple of times, Indians have been seen with some of the stolen goods. But there was never any way that anything could be proved. That's generally known, miss. Well, Pa had the idea that someone who was working on the train was working in cahoots with redskins. He was on the track of something mighty big when he had the message to go to the train and meet someone. Who was he to meet? I, I don't know. Didn't he give no hint at all? No. Oh, shucks, too bad he didn't. All I know is that he was to meet someone. And now I begin to think he was called to the meeting just so he could be killed. Are you trying to say that I had... I didn't say anything about you. Boss, you don't suspect me of anything, do you? You, Jake? Well, no, why should I? Oh, hang it, I can't help feeling the suspicion is pointing at me. I was running the train, and I was the one who was to make sure the brake was set. But I'd done all that. You can ask the boys in the office. The train didn't start coasting for half an hour after I went into the office. Yeah, take it easy, Jake. No one is blaming you. I think someone murdered my father. That girl looks at me like she thought I was the guilty one. Now look, Jake. Couldn't someone have got to the engine and released the brake while you was in the office? Well, sure they could have. 
That's what must have been done. Likely it is. But even so, there was the block that was under one of the wheels. That'd hold the train? Sure it would. Unless someone pulled it away. You any idea who might have done that? No, I ain't. I told you all I know. All right, Jay. Who's... A mass man! Hold on, stranger. Sit still. He's armed. Steady. I'll not shoot unless you force me to. Mast! A mass man! Jake, you come with me. Who, me? Hurry, I've no time to race around here. I want a long talk with you. Turner, don't let him get away with this. Do something. Just who are you, stranger? What do you want of Jake? I'll tell him that what I want when we're alone. But I'll tell you the deal's with your railroad. The, the railroad? The railroad and the deal has been made with the Indians by one of the employees of this railroad. Not me. Come, hurry, or shall I carry you? I won't move. I ain't no crook and I ain't nothing to do with mass men. Very well, then we'll do it this way. Look out for the rope. Hey, let me loose. Let me go. Get this rope off This me. way. Let's go ahead. Don't Please. reach for a gun, Turner. You'll get jailed for this. You ain't. I'll see you high. Up you come, Jake. Oh, no, no, let me come go. Come stranger. You'll hang for this. You can't get away with it. I'll sue her. Hey! The Lone Ranger carried Jake to a small, well-concealed camp in the woods where Tonto was waiting. There, the masked man lowered his prisoner to the ground. I've never seen such a horse. Make yourself comfortable, Jake. I'm not going to keep you tied. You said something while we was right. Yes? You said that you was taking me away because you knew I had nothing to do with the wreck. That's right, Jake. I know you're innocent. But how'd you know that? Because I know the name of the man who's guilty. And the wreck was done a purpose? It was. I was there when it happened. But who are you? You can just consider me a friend. The name doesn't matter. All that matters is the truth. We want to get the real criminals. But if you know who he... Did you say they? There are two men involved. Then why not name them? That would do no good. We couldn't prove that they were in league with the Indians and that they took the cash from them. Uh, Proof. That's what you need. The father of the girl who was in the office finally learned what was going on. That's why he was killed. There was another man killed in the wreck. That's what I heard. He was a stranger around here. A friend of Mary's father. Oh. First of all, I want information from you. When is the next train due? I reckon the one that comes through here day after tomorrow will be the next one. We'll have to stop and clear off the track some. Will it stop at the station near the office as the last one did? Oh, sure it will. Good. Why? I think we'll be able to trap the crooks then. Oh. Who is it, uh, them? Who are the crooks? I'm not going to name anyone until I'm sure what I say can be proved. Well, how did you know about him? Tata learned a few things, quite a few things, by moving among the Apache. I learned more by listening to what the Indians said when they looted the wreck. Where was you? I was in plain view. The savages thought I was dead. Well, they glanced at me, assumed that I was one of the men who was supposed to have been killed. And while they were there, mentioned the name of their friend. The engine's friend? Yes. Railroad man? Yes. The railroad man that was working with him? Yes. Hold on. By Juniper, I... Don't move. Put the gun down, Jake. Like fun, I will. You heist your hands. You too, Redskin. You loco. No, I ain't. But you must have been loco to have roped me. Now make a move and by thunder, I'll kill you. You won't shoot that gun, Jake. Put it down. I won't. You take that rope and hogtie the Redskin. Then I'll hogtie you. Thought you were smart to carry me away, didn't you? Jake. No use talking to me. I know who the thief is. I know who both of them are. And there ain't no use you trying to bulldoze me. Now get that rope and start roping. If you ain't at it when I count three, I'll blast your head off. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger was questioning Jake about the holdup, the engineer grabbed a gun and got the drop on both the masked man and Tonto. Jake, do you think I'd be foolish enough to leave a loaded gun where you could grab it? What? What's that? You mean not loaded? Get him, Tonto. He got him. You won't. Take the gun. Uh, it was loaded. You tricked me. There. Now we will rope you, Jake. You got me. But that still won't save your neck. I know who the crooks are. You and that redskin are the ones. It come to me when you was trying to get information out of me. You asked all about when the next train was due. So that's where you took the gun. Austin was a good friend of mine. Mary Austin is the finest girl that ever lived. I'll get the ones that killed Austin no matter what you do to me. Jake, wait. Go on, rope me, tie me, kill me. I'll get you if I have to come back from the dead to do it. But we didn't have anything to do with the murders. We're as eager to see the real crooks brought to justice as you are. I don't believe it. Very well. Then I can't take a chance on leaving you untied. <laughs> Sorry if the rope is tight. You'll have to stand it while I explain my plan to you. Then you'll have to wait here for several days. I have a lot that must be done in town. During the next few days, the mystery of Jake's disappearance was the subject for a great deal of discussion in town. Jeb Turner's office was filled with townsmen and railroad men who asked countless questions as they tried to learn the full details. I have told you all there is to tell, gents. The masked man came in, threw a gun on us, and lit out with Jake. That's all I know. That's all there is. Now, Mary Austin will bear me out in it. Hey, but, Mr. Turner, Jake was my best friend. You don't suspect he had a hand in the wreck, do you? No, I don't know, Sam. Jake and me were standing together in the office near the tracks when that train started coasting. Maybe Jake was in cahoots with the masked man. Has that idea entered anyone's head? No, that ain't so, Jeff. Jake was straight as a string. Well, he lost his head easy. Yeah, that don't say he's a crook. Well, as I figure it, Sam, and all the rest of you, Jake left the engine with the brake on and blocked the wheel. Then the masked man let the brake loose and pulled the block from the wheel. No, it ain't so. Don't seem that Jake would do that kind of thing. Well, it's up to the law to find out. That's all I got to say. Now, where is Baldy Masterson? I'm still near, Turner, near to the wall. Well, come forward here, Baldy. Let him throw, gents. Yeah, that's it, Baldy. Got something for me to do, Turner? You've been investigating the wreck. That's right, Turner. Find anything new there? Well, fact is, I did. Yeah? Well, what is it? For one thing, I found the hoof marks of a horse. They're the same as the hoof marks of the horse that the masked man left when he rid off of Jake. Yeah? Yeah, maybe the masked man's a crook, but that don't make Jake a crook. Be still, Sam. I'm questioning Bolly. Anything else, Bolly? Well, might mean something and might not. Well, what is it? Oh, it ain't much but a hunk of cloth. It looks like one of the bags that money sent in. Here, look at it. Why, it is. Those bags are used when cash is sent on the train. Where'd you find that? I, well, Turner, I don't like to say it might mean nothing at all. Speak up. Maybe better if I tell you in private after all the gents have left, huh? Order of your life. Come Where on. was it? Come on, Bolly, speak up before everyone. I got nothing to hide. Well, you see, there, there ain't no proof that this cloth bag got with it. Oh, I hate to name anyone without him here to defend himself. Do you want me to have the sheriff jail you for withholding evidence? All right, then. I went to Jake's house to have a look around there. I found the bag in his house. You oh, did? I, yeah. I don't believe it. I don't give a hang who believes it. I'm just telling it. By all this righteous, that ties Jake right into it. Now, Turner, maybe he had the bag given him. We don't know that he stole it. It was given him. Given him by the Redskins that he let rob the train. That's how he got it. Then Jake was the one. Him and that masked man. I'll report it to the sheriff. Find Jake and lynch him. Find Jake and let him speak his side of it. Find Jake. That's the thing. Find Jake. The sheriff and his posse redoubled their efforts to locate the missing railroad man, but without success. Two days passed, with everyone convinced that Jake was the one to blame for the crash of the train and the death of two men. Then another train arrived. The sheriff was at the station to meet it, along with most of the townspeople. On the far side of the tracks, a masked man and an Indian approached on their horses. The train cuts us off from view, Tonto. We can board the cars from this side without being seen. That's right. You know the part you're to do. Wait here while I ride back a bit. Uh -huh. Tonto, do his part. Come on, boy. Still 
Still keeping the train between himself and the station, the Lone Ranger raced back to a grove of cottonwoods. Hardly slackening his pace, the great horse Silver threaded his way among the trees and at last reached a clearing where Jake and Mary Austin were waiting. Well? I think everything is set to go ahead, Jake. Miss Austin? Yes? You might go to the office now. Speak to the sheriff, Jeb, Baldy, and the others I named. I will. And you, Jake? Yeah? Are you convinced yet that I'm as eager as anyone to find the crooks? I reckon I am. Can I count on you? Uh, Mary Austin's to be in the car, ain't she? Yes. Then you can count on me. You're doggone right you can. Thanks. Let me thank you, too, Jake. I, I'm sorry for... For what, ma'am? Well, for what I thought at one point since Pa's death. Oh, that's all right, ma'am. Now I'll go to the station. <laughs> At the station, Jeb was conferring with the train's engineer. The crowd, eager for news, hemmed them in. So it wasn't so much of a job clearing off the tracks, huh? No, didn't delay us for very long, Mr. Turner. Oh, by the way, you got the brake set on that engine, ain't you? Sure I have. Did you put a block under the wheel to make sure it wouldn't start backing downhill? Sure I did. I always do, Mr. Turner. That's one of the orders you gave out. Looks like that last train was just marked for stealing by Jake and his mask partner. Well, I'll make my report out now, Mr. Turner, if I can use the desk. Now go ahead. Uh, Sheriff. Nothing new to report, Jeb. I still got men out hunting Jake and the mask man, but no luck yet. And I... Mr. Turner. Oh, howdy, Miss Austin. It's good to see you again. Jeb, can I speak to you? Alone. Hmm? Why, sure thing, ma'am. Just step over this way. Wait there for me, boys. Be back in the jiffy. All right. Well, well that's odd, Sheriff. What is, Baldy? Mary Austin wanting to speak secret to Jeb Turner. What's the matter with me and you? Can't you trust the two of us? I reckon she figures I fell down on my job, Baldy. Uh, maybe I have. But I sure done my best to try and find them crooks. Well, what about me? Shucks, she don't hardly know you. Hey, look. There's Jeb leaving. Now, oh, where's he going? Thanks, Mr. Turner. Mary's coming this way. Oh, Sheriff, I... There's something I want to say to you and, and this friend of yours. Uh, me? Yes. You work for the railroad, don't you? I sure do. Well, I understand that you're one of the men who's been working so hard trying to learn who caused my father's death. Well, ma'am... Well, thank you for that. Well, sort of in the line of duty, ma'am. I've been doing my best. It was Baldy that found out that Jake was mixed up in it. Oh, oh yes. Well... I wonder if both of you would go on board that train that's outside. For what, ma'am? That train? Yes. Why? Well, there's something that, that I want you to see, that's all. Well, if, if you'll only do what I ask, I'm sure you'll learn a lot about... Well, about the way Pa was killed. Well, how can we? What's there on that train? That wasn't the one your Pa was on. I know. Shucks, we might as well do what she asked, Baldy. Won't hurt nothing. Why, of course it won't. Will you? Come on. You coming along, miss? Oh, yes, I'm coming. There are several other men I want there, too. I'll speak to them. The sheriff and Baldy watched Mary disappear in the crowd. Then they headed for the door, crossed the platform, and boarded the train. A few moments later, they were joined by several other men. At last, Mary entered the coach. Now I think that... Oh, where's Jeb Turner? Well, I don't know. I didn't see him on this car. That's odd. Did you tell Jeb to be here too, miss? Yes. He... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I want you to meet a friend of mine. The Lone Ranger. Oh, oh, Ranger. Oh, Sit right where you are. Uh, you're the one that made off with Jake. That's right, Sheriff. You were the you one... You were at the scene of the wreck. I was. I understand that there are some people who think I had something to do with that wreck. You and Jake... That's were... far enough, Baldy. Now let me do a little of the talking. In the first place, we're going to solve the murder right now by hearing from the people who are in this car. Who are you accusing? Quiet, Sheriff. All right, then. But you needn't wave those guns around so handy. Now, we're all here the same way that Austin was. If this train started now, we'd all suppose it was going on its regular trip. We wouldn't realize it was running wild until it was going too fast to jump. What about it? It's not likely that this train will get loose. There isn't anything on board the Indians would find worth stealing. Where's Jake? I'll tell you where Jake is when the time comes. Person. We're moving. That's all right, Mary. Probably. But it ain't all right. The engine ain't running. We're coasting downhill. Someone let the brake loose and pull the block from beneath the wheel. We're going to be killed. Get to the platform. Jump for it. It's too late. No one leaves this car until we hear the truth. Well, I'm leaving. Stay where you are, Sheriff. I'm hanging. Oh. The 
sheriff's gun was hardly out of its holster before a silver bullet sent it crashing to the ground. Panic had seized the men who faced the Lone Ranger. For a moment, they seemed ready to defy the guns that covered them, but only for a moment. Then, in spite of the fact that the train was gaining momentum with every second, they turned back to the masked man. Stay where you are. Come now. Who started the last train coasting? It'll be too late to jump in another couple of minutes. Mary would sooner die with a crook than have him go free. Isn't that true, Mary? Yes, it is. The sheriff knows the risks of his office. He has to be ready to take those risks. Now, the rest of you. You'll simply have to stay on board unless the killer confesses. It's Jake. You know that's not true. It's Jeb Turner. He ain't here. He's reckoning so the truth won't be known about him. Turner? How do you know that, Baldy? Oh, I know. That's all that's necessary. I know it was Jeb Turner. You've got to prove that. Get off the train. I'll prove it then. Prove it now. Where did you and Jeb Turner hide the loot? In under the floor of the station. The Indians brought it to Turner? Or did you meet the Indians? I met him and I... Hey, you're making me tell about... About yourself. That's right, Baldy. You said enough to hang you. How about it, Sheriff? He sure has. If we live through this... We'll live through it. Three shots is the signal. Jake is at the controls. He'll apply the brakes. We weren't running loose at all? No, but I had to let Baldy think we were so he'd be so badly frightened that we could catch him off guard. It was easier than I thought it would be. Sheriff, you'll get Jeff Turner. You bet I will. Have you all the witnesses you need? And then some. I'll leave you then. Tonto has brought my horse along beside the train. But wait. There's lots we got to ask about. Mary will explain anything you want to know. Oh, wait. He's gone, Sheriff. And the answer's simple. He knew the names of the crooks, but he had to have proof. He done better than that. He got the confession. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.